first off, I want you all to bow down because I only missed two predictions. Yeah, that's right, y'all. You all know it! That's right, bitch. I even got the obscure one right! What? Ridiculous. I am way too close. I need to back up. <laughs> so weird today. I'm just gonna get... Right to it. Very right to it. Fick it, fick it right to it. I'm weird. Weird. Um, first match of the night. The Motor City Machine Guns took on Generation Me. Now, technically, the five-star match that I got right, even though technically I predicted for London Brawling, but I guarantee you, even if it was Gen Me, I would have predicted the same thing. Next match. Douglas Williams versus Sabu. I, this is one of the only ones I got wrong. I picked Sabu because I really wanted uh, EV2 to go over tonight. You know. But. It just didn't happen. At all. Not one member of EV2 won. But it was a three and a half star match. But I didn't state before the MC... MG Motor City Machine Guns uh, Gen Me match was a five star match. But this was a three and three four star. It was oh, it, it was it was almost awesome. It was almost great, but there is just a couple things like the whole fact that it it ended by via title shot to Sabu into the pin. Those little things just threw it off. Uh, excuse me, three and a half. Um, next match was Velvet Sky versus Madison Rain. Got that one right. I predicted Velvet Sky. It's a three-star match. It actually surprised me. I didn't expect much coming into this in this match. Um, Velvet did had a great showing. I mean, people always say how oh, she's not a good wrestler, but she she proved proved a lot of people wrong tonight. I think she did a good job. I think Madison Rain did an okay job. It's just Madison Rain looks kind of stiff and doesn't she does she doesn't look like she she knows what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? But Tara looked great tonight. <laughs> I got that right. Um, next match: Rhino versus Abyss. Four star match, that's right folks, four freaking stars. It amazed me. Um, I also got this right. At first I kinda I wanted Reiner to win, but I predicted Abyss because of his whole 10 10 10 storyline. I feel like he's gonna be like winning a lot more now. It was a pretty good match, I enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed most of it, yeah. Except for that little segment where they went under the under the fucking stage and ran around and then it was just kind of ridiculous. But next match I also got this one right. Samoa Joe and Jeff Jarrett over Kevin Nash and Sting. Three and three, four stars. This was actually very good. It surprised me. I mean, you've got three supposedly over-the-hill wrestlers in Jeff Jarrett, Kevin Nash, and Sting, and then you've got Joe. Um, I, I personally believe that Kevin is over the hill. Sting's not over the hill. He's just past his prime, and the same thing with Jarrett. He's not over the hill yet, because over the hill means you're, you're like, terrible. This is a three and three four star match. It, it impressed me. Jarrett, Angle, or uh, Jarrett, Sting, and Nash, and Joe all impressed me tonight. Um, next match, AJ Styles versus Tommy Dreamer. Another one I got wrong, only because I want EV2 to be good. But no, just like with Nexus, they completely fuck it. But it's okay. It's okay. I really think this it can be fixed. But it was a great match. It was four and three four stars. Oh my god, it was amazing. It just, you know, it was missing certain things to be a five-star match. It was just missing certain things. You know, it wasn't very fast-paced, so... It wasn't fast-paced at any point in time, so... Next match, Jeff Hardy versus Kurt Angle. Five stars, first off, and fucking booyah! That was the obscure prediction that I got right. No contest. That's right, boy! If you doubted me, if you doubted my prediction for that match, apologize in the comments section, and then suck my nadsack, bitches.
Just kidding, you don't have to suck my nap sack. But that was a great match. This match, this next match really disappointed me. Like, it was a good match, but, I mean, I thought it would be so much better. Pope Anderson, Anderson won, three and three, four stars. I really have nothing else to say about this, but I will say, this is the best pay-per-view I've seen so far in 2010. Now, keep in mind, I didn't actually see Money in the Bank, which is what people are saying is the best pay-per-view of the year. And, um, I only saw three matches of Death by Dishonor, but definitely, at least for mainstream, no surrender, best pay-per-view of the year so far. That's all i got to say left in this little, uh, video. This is WWE Kamehameha 13 here. And the Brett Favre number four Jets jersey. Your wrestling genius and your personal guy. Too awesome. Stare at the eye. Peace, uh, suckers. <laughs>